So now that we've installed the static HTML iframe app, we can go ahead and customize the app itself. So if I scroll down just under the Facebook avatar and click on the iframe, it's named Welcome, click on that one. It's going to bring up this area. So the top area is for non-fans, people who haven't liked the page, and the bottom one is for people who have actually liked the page. Now all I need to do for this one is I want to install an image on both boxes. So when people click on each box, there's an image that represents something. It could be a campaign, it could be something that we're promoting, but I want it displayed. So you can host the image either on your own server or there's a number of websites. The one I use is Photobucket. You can also host it on Flickr and there are many, many others. So what I wanted to do is if I just scroll down here, on the right hand side it, it gives me the information I need. It's got a direct link or a HTML code. So you want to just click on that and it automatically copies it. Now if I just minimise that, I've got a bit of code here and this needs to go into the top area. So what I can actually do is just, I've copied that original code and I want to just copy this and then just paste it into this box and that's basically the style, it's got the width and the height and then it's got the link directly to this image here. Now just below it, obviously there's another box, so this is for the actual fans and here's a bit more information. So again I'll just copy that information and I want to just post that in there. Now we'll just make that larger. Once you've done that you want to save the changes and you can actually preview. So this one is what the public will actually see without liking the page and the second one is what they see when they've liked the page. And this as well, there's an area here that's quite active as a hotspot that they can download an ebook. But this is this is kind of an example of an old campaign that we've run. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show you how it worked. Again, we can go back to the editor and we can make any changes there. So once you're done, preview, and you're done. So if you've got any questions on anything that we've that I've discussed or anything that I've showed you, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Um, obviously, HTML is a completely different animal. It's something that you really need to get your head around. Even at a very basic level, you're going to need, when you start looking at things like iframes, you're going to need to have some sort of knowledge of how HTML works. Um, it could be a case of just copy and pasting into the boxes, but you need to kind of have a grasp of how to format. But we will be doing a series on HTML, also SEO, so watch out for those ones.